Unfortunately, we've had to cancel the live festival this year, but we will be setting up a virtual platform for works to be uploaded. Guys, what are we going to do? We've worked so hard to raise the money and now we can't even present the show. Well, they are doing a virtual platform. Can't we just film the show and get it on the online platform? At least then, people will see it. That requires a lot of technical skill. And gear hire is expensive. None of us have filmed anything before. It's hard to produce an excellent quality film. I agree. I don't want to compromise on quality at all. Also, a video version won't be as powerful. The show really needs that audience interaction and energy. Isn't there another way that we can present the story we want to tell? We don't know a lot about producing videos, but we do know how to engage with our audience. And there are so many platforms we could use. In that case, we need to go back to what our audience wants. If we want to be on a virtual platform, we have to know where people are spending their time online. I know. I'm on Insta and Zoom most of my day. I also have so many different WhatsApp groups. TikTok is huge. That's where all my people are. What do you like most about the platforms you are on? I'm the queen of gifts. I've got one for any situation. I love the immediate feedback I get on my social media posts. I know when I'm hitting the right vibe. I really love how easy and cheap it is to talk to anyone anyway. Whether it's my cousin in Botswana or my old school friend in Brazil. It makes me feel like we're still part of each other's lives. I love how expressive I can be with voice notes and gifts. My WhatsApp can be so dramatic sometimes. Hey, May, seriously, you are so extra on WhatsApp. You bring all the drama. <laughs> I mean, that's it, right? How can we use a platform and really get the drama and engagement we want out of it? Bull, we have a budget. We need to just rework it and think about the team we need to make this happen. Yeah, we need a team that's diverse and up for a challenge. Everyone will need to have very specific roles in the team, but we're all going to have to be flexible about what we do. This is going to be a learning curve, and we'll need to roll with what comes. Guys, I'm feeling so good about the show. We've got such a great audience thanks to all the marketing we did and everyone who participated in the preview can't wait for the final show. I'm so glad we had that preview. Tonight would have been a disaster if we didn't. Can you imagine if we had everyone in the audience texting in like at the first show? We couldn't even get through the first scene. Yeah, but it also gave us some great ideas and to see the immediate reactions gave us a lot of honest feedback. It was also really helpful in figuring out some of the technical issues, like the delays with loading images and text. Let's do this! Break a leg, guys! Standing by! All systems go! I'm so proud of us and amazed at the huge audience we managed to pull. We definitely reached more people than we could have fitted in a theater and people from all over the world. We learned so much. It will definitely benefit me in making live theater like how important it is to have tech involved from the start and not as an add-on. Our investors were so happy with the social media traction they really felt like it was a good return on their investment from a marketing perspective. That's fantastic! I feel like there's an opportunity to monetize this show if we make the businesses part of the narrative and give them more exposure. I'm so glad I had your support and that we had a good team through this journey. The crowdfunding campaign in itself was so time intensive. I could never have done this alone. It's so exhausting to have to raise money like this for every show. 
it would be so great if we could work together with other creatives to pool resources and networks. It would have been nice to have more diverse networks to tap into from the start of the campaign. We could have reached a lot more potential backers. I actually recently heard about this group, which is starting an artist stock fail to do exactly that. We should get in touch with them. This has been a really productive meeting. It's so important to reflect on the process to improve the next project. I just need to finalize the budget and I really want to put our WhatsApp idea into a business plan. The AppCrawler website is awesome for templates and information. Great work, Bule. I also want to check out the Tulo page. I'm already excited to start on the next project.